Jim Wilder here is responsible for development of the targets and uh, challenges. So we're going to keep this brief so you can get out and enjoy the product. Uh, but Jim and I will be here all day, so don't hesitate to track us down and ask us if you have any questions. Um, there are two different wiper models here at the Bondurant School. The TA2 or Time Attack 2 you'll see outside. Uh, that has a rear wing, front corner splitters and dive planes, which produce 400 pounds of downforce at 150 miles an hour. It also features a two-mode suspension with uh, damper and spring rates that are tuned specifically for the Time Attack package and it has Pirelli Corsa tires. There are two ways the TA2 uh, at Bondurant differs from a stock car. Uh, first is the brake pads. They have braced brake pads, so that, uh, that improves the longevity of the pads underneath these repetitive, uh, extreme braking exercises that they do that are way more severe than normal uh, lapping. Um, and then the second thing is they have safety harnesses, which are there obviously for safety, but it also has the added benefit of holding you in the seat. Um, and considering the cornering capabilities of these products, uh, you'll be grateful for that. Um, the second Viper model is the Viper ACR, which is right here behind me. Uh, this car features a huge rear wing, uh, strakes on the rear diffuser, a full race style front splitter, dual dive planes, and front wheel extra. All of that combines to produce over 1,200 pounds of downforce at 150 miles an hour, which is more than any other production car on the road. Um, there's fully adjustable Bilstein coilover shocks on this car. You can adjust both rebound and compression damping, and you can change the ride height via the lower spring perch. There's also Kumo tires on this vehicle, which were designed specifically for the car and developed in conjunction with the suspension for maximum grip. So I'm going to hand it over to Jim to talk about the uh, chargers and challenge. Morning, everyone. Uh, in the interest of time, again, we'll keep it brief. I think a lot of you know a lot about the challenger and charger already. If you have questions after, please get a hold of us. Uh, so at Bondra, they've got all samples of the SRTs available for you to drive. You'll get an opportunity to do that today. The uh, charger, both the 392, 485 horsepower, and the Hellcat, and all four versions of the Challenger, automatic and manual, again, 45, 392s, and the Hellcat. Um, like the Vipers, these are also very adjustable to the touchscreen. Uh, we've got five different drive modes, street score, track, custom, and valet if needed. Um, we're at a track. Track one is probably appropriate, although I will leave it to the instructors if they want to do something different. Um, like Jeff said, uh, the, uh, on the Vipers, we've got a couple things that make these things not 100% stock. On the uh, Challenger Charger, we have different tires on the car. Madra has a long-term relationship with Goodyear. Uh, they go through a lot of tires, so having a good friend at Goodyear is good for them. We love our Pirellis, the Goodyears are also very good for these cars. We value them. And we also have a track pad on the car. When we develop brake pads, we have to develop pads to work on the street and the track. Uh, but for the track conditions that these guys have used the cars through, and you guys will use the cars through, uh, having race pads uh, is a very sensible thing to do. How does this benefit engineering? Because that's really what we're all about, is what can we get out of this relationship? Um, as you're probably aware, we do a tremendous amount of track testing to get these cars where they are. We do lots of brake bay testing in specific places. We do lots of performance testing and tuning in tracks. Uh, we do a lot of thermal testing in very hot places. Um, and all this leads us to a car that we can give our customer that we're very proud of, and it does very well in all those conditions. But what Bondurant does is they take that beyond the extreme of what we can do and test them way beyond we, where we can go with our cars. Yeah, as uh, Jim said, uh, we think we cover our customers pretty well with the testing we do at SRT. Um, one example of that is a 24-hour durability track test we do, which you know covers a lifetime of track days for most customers. Um, the cars here at Bondrod, though, they'll see that kind of activity within a couple weeks, and then week after week after that. So even though this is far beyond anything we need to design for, we're excited about this because we'll learn things about maintenance schedules, uh, you know, the ultimate life of components under these kind of extreme conditions. Uh, the ridiculous uh, thermal uh, environment they're going to be subjected to here in the summer. Uh, bottom line is, we're engineers. We always want to keep testing and keep learning. 
So this is going to give us the opportunity to do that, and we're very excited about it.